also have Friday Night Football on KDK Radio. We've got North Allegheny traveling to Central Catholic. Ooh. So I'm just thinking about the pros in high school football. When you think about people like Larry Bruno, obviously, who coached Joe Namath, uh, you think of Dwight Collins, who played at Beaver Falls, played for Minnesota. I mean, a lot of guys. I mean, Tony Dorsett, who ran on this field while at Hopewell. Of course, Coach Ditka, I'm sure somewhere along the way, has been at Reeves Stadium, played at Aliquippa, played at the University of Pittsburgh, coached the Bears. Danny Reigns from Hopewell on that Super Bowl team in 85. I mean, so many players, all of those greats from Aliquippa, Gilbert, Law, and Revis, along with Mike Ditka. A lot of folks have gone to the pros that have at one time been on this played field. Played on this field. I think we counted six Hall of Fame guys no that played on this field. Yeah, it's amazing. Anyway, you ever think what Mike Ditka does during football season now that he's kind of retired? Do you think he sits in front of the TV and just throws a couple of forearms once in a while? Oh, no, I think he's having the greatest time lighting up the biggest cigar he can find. And, you know. Would you agree, though, and Gronkowski has gone, Steelers taking on New England Sunday night, even though there was a big separation between the time that he came into the league and also another great tight end, if you will, who played here, Tiger Joe Walton, coached many years with the Steelers offensive coordinator and with Robert Morris. Tight ends were really from Tiger Joe Walton, Joe Walton, in the 50s, pretty much blocking, and then Mike, took the ball and went north-south with it and ran. But you look at the game today, the tight end is his m most important weapon, maybe if not more than anything, as far as the offense these days. And you got to believe it kind of started back in the day with Mike Ditka. Well, I mean, today the tight end is, uh, you, you look at the body type of these kids, and, and they, honestly, they look like basketball players that have actually lifted weights. Right. And uh, and they're, they're playing in the tight, traditional tight end set. They're out, split out wide. Sometimes they're in the backfield and block. Um, and there's a lot of offensive coordinators that build their, their whole offense predicated on the value of that tight end. We're going to talk about their opponent this weekend. They're headed to Cincinnati. That's next.